This here is the CMC Jiffy Cap, aka the Jiffoam Cap. Back in the 70s, this was essentially what came on something called Jiffoam Oven Cleaner. And of course, the ever resourceful graffiti writers at that time were using these as fat caps. And because it became such an iconic cap of that era, it's being manufactured again today from its original design. And we're going to be seeing what this particular cap can do and what it sprays like in a tagging test. Then we'll be putting up some throwies and to showcase how versatile this cap is, I'm going to be doing an entire graffiti piece using only the Jiffy caps. That way, I'm giving you guys an accurate picture of the boundaries of this cap, what it's actually good for, and at the end, I can then answer for you guys the big question, is this cap worth picking up for yourself and trying out? And the second thing that's probably even more helpful that I'll be telling you after we test the Jiffy cap is what types of spray paint are best to be pairing this cap with. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is tagging up some subscribers' names who have asked me for hit-offs, first with a high-pressure can and then with a lower-pressure, softer valve can, and that'll really give us a good taste of just how controllable this cap really is and what applications it might be good for. So I'm going to buff this out a little bit, give us a nice surface to test on, and then we'll start that right away. So for these initial lines and tags for a higher pressure can, I'm using an iron lac can. This is far from scientific as I'm using different colors and using different colors with different amounts of pigment in them will produce different results in terms of the spray width and the atomization. But I have to say, even with the iron lac cans and the sort of poor valve systems that they traditionally have, the atomization was quite nice. Even on the higher pressure iron lac can, I was surprised at how thin the lines could be. For a lower pressure can with a softer output due to the softer valve, I'm using a dang can. To be honest, I didn't notice too, too much of a difference between the high and low pressure. I think that speaks to how well the actual cap outputs paint and atomizes it. But I did notice right away that, yeah, this is probably going to be the low pressure can that you want to use if you're going to create some fades within a fill-in or some nice flary tags for sure. Of course, shades of any kind of paint that are more thinly pigmented are going to be better for those big flares because they can be atomized that much better. Okay, so now that we've got a bit of an idea of the actual spray patterns and the output of this Jiffy cap, I'm gonna now do a small throwy and see how it feels just painting a little something with this cap. Let's get to that. As a writer who always just sort of fat caps the entire thing when I'm doing throw-ups, I immediately felt a little eh about the cap using it for throw-ups. And when I did get to the fill-in, I did find that it was thin enough that I was like, oh my god, when is this fill-in gonna be done? So not the greatest thing to be feeling when you're doing a throw-up, especially if that's in a bombing scenario, of course. Switch to a new full can, I can already feel the difference in pressure. This is far more capable of producing fat lines when you have a full can that's high pressure. So depending on your natural pace as a writer slash graffiti artist, you might not enjoy this so much for throwy applications or even tags, it might feel a little slow to some people. And for the fill-in, I did actually use a high pressure can, so it's not like I was miffed by the pace because of the low pressure can, I only used the low pressure can for the outline. But those same aspects that aren't exactly ideal for throw-ups necessarily are probably good for piecing. And to this cap's credit, I was able to do the fill-in and the outline with the same cap, which makes it a very, very versatile cap for sure. Don't get me wrong. So with that throwy done, I'm now going to paint an entire little graffiti piece using the Jiffoam cap for the whole thing, the whole time, the initial design, outline, fill-in, all that. And I'll tell you why we're doing this. We're doing that because I have two sort of suspicions about the Jiffy cap. The first suspicion is because I feel like if, if you are going to bring just one cap with you somewhere for convenience purposes, then this cap might be a good candidate. I think with the range of spray you can get, range of line thicknesses that still manage to have hard edges, that sort of thing, this cap might be a good candidate as like a, an all-arounder, if you want to call it that. And my second suspicion is with the sort of output that this cap provides on, especially these lower pressure, sort of softer valved cans, I do have a suspicion that they're going to be quite nice for providing smooth blends in fill-ins and that sort of thing. 
So I'll try some sort of interesting little blended fill-in for this piece to try and test that suspicion out as well. So to test those two suspicions out, I'm going to give you guys an up close and personal view with the head cam on as I do this graffiti piece. So let's get to it. So here in the piece, I'm trying a bit of a benign fade with respect to the colors. At least they're two very similar purples. As someone who isn't great at fades and someone who doesn't use them regularly within pieces, it felt very easy to get a nice one with the jiffy cap here. Outlining the piece with the cap felt a little strange since I usually try to vary my line thickness quite a bit in my outlines and I couldn't exactly seem to do that very well today, but I also think though that I just plain had sort of a poor painting day so that's probably more on me than the cap. You can even tell the whole piece, everything's just spaced very weirdly, not uh, particularly well done so I think on a better day the cap would have felt totally fine for me as an outliner. For cutbacks and adding some little highlights here and there, the cap was a good size and controllability for that. So although the piece I did certainly was not my best, the cap didn't make any part of the piece any harder at all. It was a nice versatile cap for sure. All right, if you want to take a better look at the piece, you can go back. Right now, is this cap worth picking up and trying it for yourself? My answer to that is I don't really care what kind of graffiti writer you are. I'm still going to say yes. Yes, it absolutely is. Because if I had to describe this cap in one word, it's versatility. It does have the potential to do very thin lines, actually. Like, thinner than some outline caps, I do have to say. And if you do want the fatter lines, you do have to sort of rock your finger back a little bit on the cap and even then with those fat lines you're only getting something that's a little bit thicker than like a lego thin cap which doesn't sound very thick but lego thins aren't that thin so applications for this cap of course because of that same versatility it could be a nice all-arounder for a bombing scenario that type of thing if you haven't yet developed the best can control you might find this cap a little more one-dimensional but it's still a nice one that's comfy on the fingers for sure bottom line is i I think all types and all skill levels of graffiti artists could find a way to incorporate this into their arsenal. I guess something else I should emphasize since we did test it out as one of my two sort of suspicions is that yes, it did blend very well. I entirely felt comfortable much more so using the Jiffy cap to blend more than some other caps. And it's because it does have that sort of nicer atomization. I did blend with a lower pressure, softer valve can although. And that brings me to what kind of paints are best to pair with this cap. To be honest, I found it a little little irritating to use with some higher pressure cans and bear in mind that's coming from someone who uses high pressure cans regularly and most prominently it could just be the iron lack valve systems too because they've always been shit but I just found the edges weren't as hard on the iron lack cans with this cap than on the dang cans that I was using part of that also could have been because I chose the absolute worst color on the entire planet to try and use to do an outline with of course the whites the light pinks the light blues any kind of light color with tons of pigment is going to be very misty at the edges compared to the darker colors in their same brand. If you want to be using this cap regularly for best results, the spray paints that I can definitely recommend are number one, Molotow would be a dream to use this cap with, simply from the standpoint of they've managed to have that very thin formula that's still very opaque, and that would be very, very nice to use with this cap. I would be willing to bet that any kind of low pressure can would be fairly nice to use this cap with as well. Of course, those lower pressure softer valves allow you you to have that extra bit of control. That being said, even on the higher pressure iron lock cams, I found that it was just a slow cap to work with in general. So if there is one downside, I have to say is that the cap is quite slow. It's just, it's the nature of the cap. And that could just be because I'm used to using some higher output caps on high output cams, I don't know. Part of the reason it was also probably a bit slow is because you can only go so wide with this cap. I've seen other videos where people get some really wide lines with this cap. I wasn't able to do that, even, even with like rocking the cap back, like I was saying, wasn't getting that exactly. So I think that more has to do with the sort of color palette I was using. If any of you have used the Jiffy cap yourself, please put your experiences with it in the comments because that helps everyone else in the graffiti community who's looking for a bit more info on it 
find that info and see if they want to test the cap out for themselves. I have a whole playlist of specifically cap reviews, spray paint cap reviews, if you want to check that out on screen now, as well as actually a playlist of specifically spray paint reviews. Those will be on screen. I'll hope to see you in one of those videos over there. Until then, peace.